Today I'm going to show you how to add a new user to your Google Workspace account. This is a simple process that can be done in a few easy steps. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. So first of all, you're going to go to your browser and navigate to the Google Admin Console. From here, you're going to sign in using your administrator account Remember, that's the one that ends in your custom domain, not your Gmail or other email address. Once you're logged in, click on directory in the left hand side and then on users. Click on the blue add new user button. And from here, enter the first and last name. and then create a unique username for the user. By default, it'll just use the first name, but you can change that obviously if you want. Um, and so not only will this be their username, but this is also going to be their email address for when they're using Google Workspace. Make sure you enter a secondary email address for the user. This will be an email address that they have access to outside of your Google Workspace setup. If they get locked out at any time, this secondary email can then be used as a recovery email if that's the way you've set up your security. Now by default, Google Workspace will create a password for you, but if you want to create one for the user yourself, you can just click on create password Uh, the best option here is always to have the user change their password when they sign in. So if you don't want to make any changes here, just ignore that. Drop down originally and click on add new user. All right, so now click on preview and send and the email address that you've previously entered is going to be there. If you don't want it to be the same one as the secondary email address for some reason, you can enter a new one here, but it does have to be an email address that your user can access within 48 hours. Otherwise, the sign in link will expire and you'll need to delete this account and create a whole new one to regenerate a sign in link. It's good practice to send a copy to yourself as well, so you can keep a record of who has been sent these instructions. Click on send and then click on done. If you want to, you can click co and copy the password here. If that's something that you feel you need to do, might be useful, but you don't have to do it. Then click on done and that's it. Back at the user list, refresh the web page, and you'll see that the new user is now in the list of all your users. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.